here with one of the stars of Shark Tank, Barbara Corcoran. Yay! I mean, Shark Tank is one of your many credits on your CV. And also joining us today is a CEO who started her million dollar lifestyle brand on Etsy. Oh, my favorite place in the world. Please welcome Grace Alea. Hello. Hi, Grace. How nice are you? Here. I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well. Thanks so much for having me. Well, you built your brand with $10,000. How did you do it? Yeah. So I st we started the business in 2014. I had been the idea itself came about a year earlier because I was on vacation visiting my family in Kenya and I, all of the hair on the back of my head had broken off, unfortunately. And I, if it could have been allevi alleviated had I just been wearing a scarf. And so that's where the idea started turning that there has to be something out there that is stylish enough to feel cute when you're on vacation, but also still protective of the hair. And so a year later, I made the first prototype in February of 2014. And from there in May or so, my brother, I was telling my brother about the idea and he Please. basically offered me a uh, $10,000 credit card. He was like, here's a credit card for 10, with $10,000 on it. Let's see what you can do with this. Wow. And with that, I made my first manufacturing run. I, I created our first website and we built all of our content. And in September of 2014, we launched the business. Oh, wow. All right, well, we have a small business owner from Columbus, Ohio, who calls herself a mompreneur, which is the cutest thing ever. And she's eager to ask uh, for advice on her growing business. Take a look. Hi, my name is Jennifer Sanger and I started Jameson and Bexley. Jameson and Bexley was started to provide adventurous clothes for adventurous kids. It started in September 2017. I knew I wanted to start this business and I wanted to name it after my son and his big sister Bexley. I wanted to provide clothing that kept my kids looking like kids and offer different types of clothing for gender neutral options as well. My husband and my kids are super supportive. If you ask my daughter Bexley, this is her company and I just work for her. And my son is the best little salesman ever at my pop-up shop. My company created the Mixed with Love t-shirt to show my kids that even though they are multi-race, they're not loved any less and they are mixed with love. Being a mompreneur is everything. It's being able to watch my kids grow, it's being able to let them see me grow a business. My business over the past year kind of skyrocketed. I left corporate America right when our state shut down to COVID and I was able to put 110% into my side hustle, which is now my main hustle. I'm strictly online, but my hope, fingers crossed, is to have a physical retail storefront one day and to be everywhere in the U.S. and even international. I've always wanted to be in fashion my whole entire life. So to make my dream as a little girl come true is to show my kids that, hey, if mommy can do it, so can I. Please welcome live and in person, Jennifer Sanger. <laughs> Jennifer, what is your business need and okay. what's your ultimate goal? Okay, so first off, Drew, you are my best friend in my head. Oh my God, like, I'm actually your best friend in reality. Like, yes, yeah, since high school, like everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, Jen is like on Drew Barrymore. I'm like, yeah, look at me now. So yes, and Barbara, so you proud. are my favorite shark. You've got good taste. Yes, I, <laughs> yes. I watch the show for fun, but no, like I need help. I would love to hear from Barbara. What is your advice? What are your feelings uh, about brick and mortar also? Well, specific to you, I don't like the idea. I hope you don't mind me telling you what I think really, right? No, I, my husband will agree with you. So he's going to be like, I told you so. so. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we don't want to give that guy the satisfaction. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me share my thinking with you. I could vis envision you in a design studio where you're manufacturing and visitors are coming in at the same time. There's something very exciting to see how things are done and to get to talk with the entrepreneur, not as wanting to sell them something, yeah. but bring their kids in, take tours, and then you accomplish two things at once. What I don't like about retail mm -hmm. is you have to really ramp up your production, get a lot of quantity yeah. going, and it's guesswork. You don't really know. The rents are outrageous mm -hmm. on retail, and you have to sign a long-term lease, and yeah. it's hard to anticipate whether your company will outgrow it, when they'll outgrow it, or whether they won't measure up to it. I try to pop up shop. It's so hard 
I mean, mm. and everything has really moved to online. Um, so maybe at least at first focus there, but I'd like to ask Grace mm -hmm. what her thoughts are yeah. on this because she's actually doing it. Yeah, no, I actually completely agree with what Barbara and Drew have just said. You know, we live in a really special time where beforehand we used to have to find our way into small rooms filled with people who make really big decisions for national brands, right? And now we can go directly to the consumer. So I actually, my advice is to go directly to the consumer, continue selling online and sell that way as opposed to getting a, like Barbara was saying, a 10 year lease that you have to, you know, uh, keep her, but again, I don't want to step on any dreams. I, I, you know, if that's what you want to do. Um, but I think, I think there is a little bit of a pivot that you could do, do there in order to grow, grow exponentially really big. We went from the $10,000 credit card to selling over a million products to, to over 500,000 people because we, we sold online primarily at first before getting into retail. Now, Grace, would you invest in Jameson and Bexley? Is this a company that makes sense to you? Definitely. So J Jameson and Bexley, you, it sounds like, Jen, you are in the position that we were in when I was basically running most of the, the operation with my family out of my parents' back room. And so what I'd like to do is invest $20,000 right now in your business to help you get to that next level. My mascara might run, but oh my god! <laughs> do it, do it, do it! <laughs> oh, no, oh my god! Wow. The, the fact that you've created a, a, a products that people are buying right now already is such an amazing feat. You know that you could create something that people want to purchase is already an amazing feat. So I'm happy to to, to invest in your in your dream. Oh my god! Wow. Thank you so much. And that's not all. Everyone in the audience is going to go home with a hundred and fifty dollar gift card oh. redeemable on GraceAlea.com. Oh. And you'll be able to come Jennifer Sanger, I believe in you. Grace Alea, thank you for your generosity. Thank you. As well as thank you so much. your opportunities that you're giving. And Barbara. What? I'm afraid. I, I just think the world of you. And I'm so glad to finally be in person with you and be able to show you that love and scare you slightly. This is <laughs> such an honor and thrill. I love it. I love you. I love as you, everybody Barbara. Is. Thank you so much. Season 13 airs Friday on ABC at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, or you can be like me and binge it on the couch for hours on their marathons. We'll be right back.